Okay, so again, same graph, h of x equals f of x over g of x, right? Now we know that h of x is going to be positive where the two functions are both positive, right? It's going to be negative where both functions well, have difference, well, the two functions have opposite signs, right? One's positive, one's negative. So it's going to be negative, positive, negative, just the same as this one. But that's where the comparison ends. The graph isn't going to look anything like this. Okay? Now, and we establish, the first thing we really looked at when we started here in this class was that f of x over g of x isn't always defined. It's not defined if g of x is zero. And g of x can be zero, like right here. So your h of x function is undefined at this point. Okay? Now what happens in the neighborhood of where this point, where this thing is undefined? And what happens if you go far to the right or far to the left? We've got to figure out those two things. If we can answer those two questions, we get a pretty good picture of this graph. Okay? Make sense? Okay, so let's think about it a little bit.